welcome to Food Photography and Styling. My name is Bianca Brandon Cox and I work as a food photographer and prop stylist in Stockholm, Sweden. In this program we will talk about choosing prop styling to frame and reinforce the story you want to tell. If you saw my last program, Purpose and Target Group, you now know how important I think it is to think about these things before your photo shoot. The definition of a prop stylist is a person who styles objects for photographs, film and television. I would like to say that the prop stylist creates the surrounding environment, arranges the table and collaborates with the chef and food stylist to create a complete story. Prop styling could be for example groundwork, backgrounds, glass, flatware, plates, pots, pans, flowers, napkins, yours, etc. All objects create associations in our human minds, so it is very important to think about why and what you show in a photo. With this photo shoot I want to create some new photos for my image agency. I want to tell an international audience the story about the traditional Swedish pastry semla, a pastry that we eat 40 million of each year. Doughy balls of sin filled with almond and cardamom paste with lashings of vanilla whipped cream. I want to frame the semla with historical references back to the time when the pastry got very popular in Sweden, in the 50s. I am visiting one of my favorite stores in the hoods called MJ Retro to see what I got. It fascinates me that the Swedish porcelain and ceramics from the 30s and 50s still today appeals to so many people all over the world. For example, this store delivers to South Korea, Japan, Germany and the United Kingdom. So finally, I made up my mind. I choose a classic porcelain called Mon Ami, designed by Marianne Westman for Rostram 1952. Although it shows flowers in the pattern, the colors are cold and wintry, very suitable when semla is traditionally eaten in February each year. I am first doing two photos with different styling to show how we eat it, either with a spoon or by hand. I am also backing up with another cloth and another alternative setting. For an image agency, varieties could be very useful. These images are also perfect when attaching text in the photo. And it is also good to deliver an unexpected move, something we will talk more about later on in this program. I'm also backing up with a neutral baking sheet. A photo with less associations connected to a certain time and more connected to simply baking. And again, the unexpected move. So conclusion. Think about why and what you want to show in your photo. Do alternatives. It could be very useful to have varieties. Don't think too much. Sometimes it is good to disconnect the brain and just let creativity flow. I'm looking forward to see your photos. Please hashtag food photo assignment at Instagram. Best of luck. Bye.